Hello and welcome back to this new puzzle. Today we are gonna talk about GBP and Swiss franc. If we are gonna look at on the monthly time frame, we are gonna see that price is testing a very old support area. Look at, at this moment, price is already at the bottom part of the structure. And during this period of time, we have seen many currency pairs like Chief Yen or Euro Chi, for example, that they are already testing all time highs. So look at Euro Chief, uh, Chief Yen, sorry, where we were before. The previous monthly high was on January 15 at this point, and during the previous month, we saw the price to create a new time high. On the other hand, we can look at also GBP chief on the monthly chart, on the Euro chief, sorry. On the monthly chart, the price was testing the low that it was close at this point, 0 0.97. And actually price made an all time low again. So we are at all time lows, chief Yen is at all time highs and on the other hand we are looking at GBP chief right now that probably the price is going to challenge the all time lows again. Exists a possibility that we can see another bearish movement and probably after that we can see the pullback. So the price can increase again. However, what is very uh, difficult in this trade is that as long as price is testing the lower part of this zone, this zone here, it connects also very strong support that can push the price in an aggressive way. So this is what we need to be careful at this moment. Let's break it down on another time frame. I'm going to look at it on the daily time frame now because this is more uh, clear for the moment. What we can see on the daily time frames is that all the time that price made this type of corrections, we can see another low at this point. Look at how fast it was. So it was not big, but it is not small at all. It, it did the same thing here. So this is adding the possibility for another movement where the price can come down. However, we need to be careful because price is already losing momentum and this is getting the things more difficult for this trade, more complicated. So it can push the price up also from this point. Also, if you are going to look at the other corrections, look at this correction here, for example. Price spend it three days and after that we can see the bearish movement. So this is something that price is actually doing very often. I'm not taking in consideration this pattern, but also inside this pattern we can see that the bullish moves are invalidated all the time. Also in that pattern. Also in this scenario here, look at in this scenario, the small one. So price can repeat the same process over and over again. This is a reason why you need to be careful with longs and short positions. However, uh, let's break it down. This is what we can expect overall. Another bearish movement is in cards right now. Just one moment. And what we are going to do is that I'm going to look at it on the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, we can see that I labeled this in this way. I shared also on my personal profile as well for all the guys that are in the Telegram chat and also my profile. Price is testing a critical area. Why is this area called critical here? Because at this moment, price is facing strong support at the lower part of the structure and this part of the structure can push the price up and down at the same time. So for this movement now we are moving 
<coughs> within the structures the first bounce from this point is going to push the price up to the previous support to the previous resistance and any breakdown from this point will push the price lower again so this is how i'm looking at this scenario right now as we can see price is adding more value to the bearish scenario it is getting a bit more clear but it is not clear yet price is trying to validate the bearish scenario because we are having another breakdown it is not enough it's very small right now but it can push the price lower for the other targets uh, during these scenarios we can see that when we have the support areas that are well defined let's take this example how it works out is that when our price is developing within this pattern it tends to make up and downs and at the moment that this zone is invalidated the chances are higher that price can keep moving down however not everything should be taken as granted because at this moment we can also face fake outs and price can move up again however this is the basic scenario how these type of patterns are traded once the price is going to test the previous support the previous resistance we can see it moving above and after that it is going to open the door for the retest of another area or probably price can face a resistance again on the previous zone and we can see it moving higher however these are scenarios uh, that are repeated all the time in the market so we just need to work with uh, rules and with a bigger picture on these scenarios overall this is what we are actually expecting on the movements for the moment the price is actually trying to find a direction bullish or bearish one it is not moving up or down so price is still consolidating in this area this small breakout this small uh, week of the candle here it doesn't mean anything at all so we can see the price also to move higher so let's see for any bearish development or let's say a, a solid candle close here also considering that the trend is very bearish that is coming from the upper part of the structure probably this can add some more pressure to the bearish movement this is overall what i am expecting here so on these scenarios we are trading within the structures this is how we trade within the structures the possible movements on the lower part of the side they correspond to the lowest part that we saw on the monthly time frame that we are having here the lowest part of the structure so somewhere on the weekly candles here these are the targets that we are already looking at for this uh, scenario so to keep it simple this is overall the bigger picture and this is the way how we can trade within the structures just use the stop losses and everything will be fine in this type of uh, trades i hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button for more future contents bye bye